What's up, Sportman family? It's your boy, Sparkman. Today, we're taking a closer look at the Age of Overlord set and just some penny stock cards that you may be overlooking because some people, you know, we you know, we take a look at all the high-priced cards. We look at all the nice, shiny stuff and see, wow, this card's good, this card's good. But sometimes, it's the common and supers that we overlook and don't realize how good they are until later down the line. Now, today, I'm going to take a closer look at five of those cards that, you know, maybe we should take a closer look at and maybe it could do something uh, first in certain decks. Um and current decks and we'll see what happens right so let's take a look at the first card here it's called synchro rumble now it target one tuner or one level seven or eight dragon synchro monster in your graveyard special summon in defense position also for the rest of this turn after this card resolves you cannot special summon from your other extra deck except synchro monsters if a level seven or eight dragon synchro monster or crimson dragon you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect you can banish this card from your graveyard instead you can only activate one synchro rumble per turn now this is a really really good card um, i mean personally it works well of course with your crimson dragon um s type of plays synchro cards and of course the red dragon archery structure deck that just came out some people are looking to build this structure deck and make it meta relevant and look at this this is a card that can do just that now let me tell you something it's not meta breaking or anything like that for the deck but it's some support some more support for this type of deck that you're trying to build some more synchro support as well so as we talked about Duelist Nexus that Cosmic Quasar Dragon, Crimson Dragon, and Rev Synchron were kind of struggling, you know, there are cards in these sets that are coming out that look like it will give it some support, some extra push for it to be meta relevant. So we'll see what happens here. Again, it's a penny stock card. It's not looking like it's going to be extremely expensive or anything like that. That's not why we're looking at these cards for today. We're looking at these cards because sometimes they get overlooked. And this is one of those cards where, which maybe we might be missing out on and not including in a deck like the Red Dragon or Stream Structure deck. Um, and it looks really good. It's like a little protective as well for your synchros and everything like that. So uh, let's take a look. Oh, sorry about that. Let's take a look at the next card here. We have here switch point um actually a really cool one at that so let's take a look at this one right choose one monster your opponent controls and your opponent sends either the falling to the graveyard the chosen monster or all the other monsters they control but your opponent must control three more monsters for you to activate and resolve this effect what is nice about this is that it's basically breaking the board um so you know you're looking for cards that break the board pretty easily and this is just one of those cards that do that um and you don't need a nibiru you don't need other things this switch point card looks like it can do just that um and i'm really liking um that they're coming out with these uh type of cards that are just breaking the board so easily um and for seven cents i mean guys come on pretty cool at that all right fire recovery now we had a lot of fire support in the newest set legendary duel soul burning volcano the dumpster fire of a set that came out that literally is worth almost to nothing um obviously you have your little cards and two cards there that are worth something but again little listings everything like that but i digress okay so what does this card do target one fire monster in your graveyard send one card from your hand to the graveyard and if you do special summon the targeted monster you can banish this card from your graveyard then target three of your fire monsters that are banished or are in your graveyard and shuffle them into the deck then draw one card you can only activate uh you can only use this effect of fire recovery once per turn ladies and gentlemen this is a really damn good card um and it <laughs> i know it's a super rare so it's a little bit more um i guess higher rarity in that regard but it's easily attainable and it's a good one for fire monsters for pyro decks for all those decks uh decks that people are trying to make with those uh um you know fire decks that, that came out that that set so i mean guys come on this is a card to definitely take a look at um it's basically a pot of avarice because it can target either the banish or the graveyard to shuffle it back into the deck um you could special summon with this one i mean this is a really really good card so um take a closer look at this one as well guys come on what are we doing all right next one we're looking at is card scanner card scanner this is one that you know it's all right, right? It's, it's all right, but it's something just to take a look at, right? Once per turn, you can declare one card type, monster, spell, or trap. Both players reveal the bottom card of their decks, and if it was the declared card type, they add it to their hand. Hmm. Otherwise, they place it on top of their deck. If this face-up card in its owner's spell and trap zone is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can make your opponent place one card from their hand on the bottom of the deck. That's pretty good effect. I'm not going to lie. Um, but... You know, it's just one of those cards where it's it's a funny 
type of card, right? So it's not really going to be used in many things, but it looks pretty cool. It, it could work for certain decks, I'm sure. Um, but it's one of those cards. I'm I, it's just to take a look at. Maybe it, it might do something in the near future. Maybe it might do something now, but um, just a card just to keep your eye on. You never know what it could do um, in, in other decks and rogue decks and all that fun stuff. Um, and the last card we're looking at today, it's called Sweet Romade. Um, so what this card does, if a card is sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard, target one card in either graveyard and shuffle into the deck. You can only activate one Sweet Romade per turn. So basically what it's saying is, if your opponent is trying to do some trickery in the graveyard, well, hold up real quick. This is a quick spell. We're going to activate this. Send it right back to your deck so that way you can't play with that card. No, 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 no. We don't want you using your effects in the graveyard. We're going to send that right back to the deck. So that way you can't do anything with it. That's a really good effect here. Um, and a lot of decks do do stuff in the graveyard. So with this card being around... It's a little bit of some trickery right here where we're going to be able to kind of stop you from doing what you have to do. So there are cards in this set, Age of Overlord that is, that actually do a lot of things, but they're actually worth pennies. Penny stocks! So always keep that in mind that every set always have those cards that can actually make and break the game in terms of certain decks. And this one looks like it can be in any deck. I'll be honest with you. With Sweet Romanade, looks pretty good. So... You guys let me know what you think. It's just something just to keep your eye on when certain cards here in this set. Um, like I said, it's not going to profit crazy. You're not going to do anything crazy with it. It's just cards to help you build your deck or for certain decks, that is, with some of these cards. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. From yours truly, Sparkman, please subscribe and comment, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, YouTube. Just to save you, I give all